This is a video on our extruder system at 3D Potter, and we're going to be covering the clay water content density, uh, as well as a little bit of maintenance on the Acme screw that's used in our extruder systems. So on our Acme screw that goes into our extruder, we want to make sure that it is cleaned, and you can clean it by running it through our little our ram driver tool, and you can take a cloth and run the cloth down it, and that will clean any debris off of the screw. As you can see, I've already cleaned this screw, but there was quite a bit of uh, dust and grime on it. And then to clean, uh, to add lubricant to the screw, you could just add a little bit of uh, white lithium grease. Just a strip down it is more than enough. If there's a lot of excess grease, you can rub it in with your finger. And then to put it into our extruder system, you can also use the driver tool at the start. And now that the screw is all the way against the piston of our system, we're going to manually prime it. Uh, the Acme nut should also have a little bit of grease on it as well. So when it's traveling up and down this tube, it is nice and smooth. If there is no grease on this, this can cause a very sharp vibration-like noise. So uh, it's not necessarily the motor of our extruder system that could be making noise. It could be this nut having friction inside of our anti-rotator. So this slides on very nice and smooth. And now we're going to manually prime it, our extruder. So once it's the Acme screw is pushing against the piston, if you manually turn this and prime it, clay will start to come out the other end. If the extruder has been left for a day, you may have to Clean the nozzle out just a little bit. As you can see, some clay is going to start coming out. And you should be able to prime this by hand. So just, I'm putting a maybe roughly five, you know, 10 pounds of force, you know, not much force. And, and clay comes out the other end very easily. So this clay, I'll try and get a close up. This is pretty much the ideal clay. It's very soft, you know, just, just a little bit sticky. Let me try and get the focus there. There we go. So it's very malleable. And if this was on a pottery, pottery wheel, the definition would be just slightly kind of too wet to work on a pottery wheel. It's, it's quite uh, wet. And so that is what here's a bag of clay, one of the just a standard pair bag of clay that you can buy off the open market. And for our extruder, we add about 15, 10 to 15 ounces of water to one bag of clay, so, or about 450 milliliters. And this is with uh, Laguna Stoneware, other clays vary. So the water content in this bag right now is about eight to 15% in that range. Adding this to this bag of clay brings the water content up to 20 to 25%. So we do like having a decently wet clay in our extruder system. And that's pretty much uh, a good test. You know, if you can vary, this is super, super soft. This is the kind of clay we use in our extruder. You should absolutely be able to manually prime. No problem, as you can see. And clay comes out very easily and smoothly. Uh, if your extruder is not doing this, then that either means there could be friction, uh, the screw could be dirty, which causes friction when it goes against our gearbox system, uh, the Acme nut that's on the end of the rod could be dirty. Uh, inside this tube, it's pretty well greased. So there's, uh, you know, grease on the walls of this tube. And those are all the things that can uh, prevent our extruder system from working correctly.